I'm gonna do this as a series because I've had a lot of jobs, you know, just me giving insight because you know Everybody not gonna, you know, be a millionaire. Everybody not gonna be rich and uh, This is me going through my experiences working at, you know, just a regular job and you know, maybe My experience will help somebody else who hears it, you know, along their path because I know I know, you know with me doing content like Madden and football, you know Some other viewers are, you know, closer to my age or older and some are younger and I, I feel like a lot of my subscribers are younger i could be wrong but maybe you might find it entertaining but uh pretty much just like i said tell you about my first job and i might do an episode for each job because i've had pretty decent amount of jobs but um my first job bro i was 17 going on 18. and um the girl I was dating at the time, she actually did the application for me. She was a cool female, bro. Like, I really had a lot of good females, like, in my life that I've uh, talked to. I can't remember if she said, let's go in there, or I said it. I really can't remember that. If she said it, she said it, but I'm gonna say I said it for right now. But she did the application for me. And, uh, by the way, it's a super target. It's just target. Breaking the target. And uh, I was in school at the time. No, I took a break that semester. And I was like, I need to find a job. Because, you know, just parents getting on me, you know, so, uh, my dad really. But, you know, getting on me, you know, it's that time. And I wanted to work when I was in high school, but my parents didn't want me to because they wanted me to focus on school. But I feel like, you know, sometimes kids know what's best for them because I knew, like, I didn't really see myself going nowhere else. Like, you know, I might as well start working now. But I mean, hey, you gotta do what your parents say. You just, you know, take life as it comes. Yeah, she did the application for me. We went up there. I just talked to her manager. Yeah, yeah, I think we bought something. She bought something, or I just went in there and talked to the manager. And uh, I asked her like that, like, she gave me ma'am, you know? Like, you know if you're hiring? And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just put in the application. I, I, uh, she was really nice, bro. This lady was so nice. She uh she really got me on like she just she took my name down and my uh and my phone number and it was a quick process bro like I feel like just within a week I got on back then they didn't do drug testing I think they do now but back then at that time I was like I said 17 on 18 this was like 2015 so they didn't do drug testing back then but I mean I didn't do anything at the time anyway so I was good but uh I started off as a car attendant. So I saw pushing carts, and I, I ain't gonna lie, bro, it was cool, cause it was like, you know, ain't nobody really bothering me, I'm just pushing carts, like, you see, you know, so I had this dude named, uh, named Earl, real, real cool dude, he, uh, he trained me. Only thing I didn't like, it was one lady, her name was Miss Pam, and you know, it's just, it's all about, it's, I feel like it's stuff you don't, you adjust to in, in, uh, the workforce as you mature and become older, and you learn to um, work with different personalities, but she was just the personality at that time when I was younger that I just couldn't, I couldn't figure out, I couldn't get along with, cause it's like, I tried to just be me, you know? And I don't know, like, I just feel like that didn't work for her. One day I picked up a cashier shift and you know, I'm not an early bird. I'm not a person to wake up in the morning, you know? I mean, now I'm more so of it, but like at the time, hey, you know, you know, when you get off of that school schedule where you don't, you don't have to wake up at six in the morning every day, you don't feel like doing that. So I had to wake up early that day. But she walks by and she's like, you need to start smiling. And I'm like, I didn't know she was serious or not. I'm like, okay. And so I'm just scanning people's stuff, scanning people's stuff, you know, asking them, hey, you want to sign up for, for such and such little credit card thing? And, um, you know, I'm just doing my job. Like, I don't feel it's... I still don't feel like it is, but I mean, I would do it now because, you know, it's a job. I look at it like that now. But at the time I was like, man, 
I don't feel the need to smile, you know, like, I don't, hey, how you doing, you know, you know, you can have a conversation with somebody, and they can be, you can have a good conversation, genuine conversation, you know, you can be in a good mood, and you're not smiling, you know, but she came by again, she's like, hey, you need, you need to smile, and I was like, I just woke up, <laughs> I think that's what I said, bro, I think I said, I just woke up, or something like that, it's early, or something like that, and she was like, well, you can't smile, you, you can go home. Like bro, like what? Like first of all, it's only been like it literally. I don't even know if it's been an hour or two into the shift, bro. It hadn't been that long at all. She was like, "You can go home." I'm like, bro, like, are you serious? So I'm like, all right. So I logged off and I went in the break room. I called my brother. I'm like, bro, you can give me this lady talking about. I ain't smiling. I need to go home. All right. So he picked me up and went home. And I was that. But I mean, like, I, you know, this is just one, this is one little scenario where I just, like, the whole job for the most part was pretty cool. Everybody there was pretty cool. The environment was pretty cool. Like, it's almost like a family environment. Almost, I say, because, you know, it's such a big story. You're not going to work with everybody. You're not going to talk to everybody. But it was pretty, it was a pretty cool environment. Uh, for the most part, you know, it went bad. But she just would get on my case a lot, bro. Like, about the, the the most pettiest things, you know. I didn't, I, I, at the time I didn't understand it. Now, I still don't completely understand it, but I know if I was in that position now, I feel like I would, I'd be in a, um, a better mindset to deal with it and handle it, you know. Um, yeah, as a car attendant though, bro, it's a cool job because, you know, you outside for the most part, you don't have to worry about it, nobody inside, telling you what to do all day, but, I feel like the bad part about it would be probably like cleaning the restrooms. That sucks. But like I said, it's a job, so that's just what comes with it. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Women restrooms be so filthy, bro. Like I just didn't like because it, it was like that it was consistently dirty, bro. Like that you you're not gonna get away you can get away with a full day of not having to really clean a man's. Like you can probably like clean a man's at the very end of the day. The women's you're gonna probably clean like two three times just cuz like I don't know bro women's supposed to be clean bro they, they that's just, it, it don't be sanitary at all another thing I did like about it bro they will feed you a lot and you know hey free food that's my thing but uh, they'll feed you a lot uh, they always have like food for like Christmas um, Halloween um, Thanksgiving, like every holiday, bro. All, almost all the time, bro. Always food, and it's just, hey, that make my day when I come into work and I see food. Food, just you know, here I go, employees. I'm like, hey, I'm outside pushing cars. I'm getting dark. I'm out here sweating, you know, rain, sleet, snow. I mean, it ain't snowing, but you know, pushing cars in any weather, bro. And it'd be hot outside for real, for real. What else did we do? I'd have to like stock like um like cleaning supplies like there were like uh stations all throughout the store stock cleaning supplies in every station stock cleaning supplies in the, at the registers for the most part like it just it wasn't bad like i feel like honestly i feel like miss pam made the job a little harder than it needed to be then i just you know i started getting to a point to where i just got tired of pushing carts um you know my mindset just changed on it and I wanted to be inside more. I would consistently ask them, the HR was at the time, I would consistently ask her if she can move me inside. And, you know, I'd be like, yeah, she just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we gotta wait till, till position open up again. And then they would consistently hire people, bro. And I'm like, bro, like this is not making sense. Like I asked to be put in here multiple times and I wasn't trying to do cashier. I was trying to be like on the sales floor or something, you know? Cause cashier was cool, but I just didn't like standing in one spot for a full eight hour shift. Like that was just so dry to me. But um, I ended up applying for a job at Sam's. I'll talk about that in episode two. So I, I wasn't going to school anymore at, that, at, at, that, at this point. Yeah, so it was like around summertime when I started there. Like around summer summertime, we was out of school. So went to school for a full year. Applied there, started working there. Stopped going to school, went back to school. Stop going to school again, and then um, yeah, yeah. So I, it was it was a full year. I, I worked there for a year and six months. Was 
was working two jobs, bro. Two jobs is tough, bro. You gotta really be mentally ready for that. Or you can just jump into it and just get the experience and see how you, you know, see how you feel about it. But um, it's tough, bro, because you know, your time is really not yours, you know. You just wake up and go to work, wake up, go to work. I'm gonna tell you how they stay away from energy drinks, bro. Stay away from them. But um, my last week there, because I already had did one Black Friday. So the next Black Friday was coming up. And I was just thinking, like, bro, I don't feel like doing this again. And it, working Black Friday is not that bad. It's low key kind of fun. Low key. Because it's just, it's, it's so busy, bro. It goes by so fast. It goes by so fast. But I remember I, I had to clean the restroom. This is prior to Black Friday, like, probably like two weeks before Black Friday. And uh, like I said, I was working two jobs, so I'd be tired anyway. Uh, my free time just hanging out with my friends. So, somebody, bro, when I tell you, they like crap. Oh, bro, it was ooh, all over the toilet, bro. The floor and everything, bro. Like, I'm like, bro, how do how do somebody do this, bro? Like, how how is this possible? I seen a video on YouTube saying that that's a real disorder. Like, some people actually have that. Like, I just saw that this year. So, if somebody got that, bro, like, why would you do that in a public place, bro? Like, you you know somebody got to clean this up, bro. Like, hold that in until you get home, bro. But, bro, it was everywhere. And I was just like, bro, are you serious, bro? Like, I'm just, I didn't want to clean it up. So... And I just, I just got tired of doing that, bro. Cause you, bro, somebody boo boo on the floor, all that, bro. Just think, I was working there for a year and six months. I had to mop up like stuff like that, but that was just that was disgusting, bro. But I had to mop up plenty, plenty of stuff like that, bro. Like so I remember somebody peed in the in the dressing room one time, like all type of weird stuff. Like people weird, bro. But it's just it, I don't know. I ain't got no home training, but um. I went and told my manager. I told the HR. I told her, I was like, man, I ain't no fucking janitor. I don't want to clean this up, bro. Like, like, I was mad. And she was just like, well, you know, you can just, you can, you can cool down. We can just see if we can get somebody else to clean it up. And then, so, she didn't really have no real, like, answer for me. Like, she's like, we can see if we can get somebody to clean it up. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, damn, bro. I went, I went, I walked out for a little bit, and I'm like, bro, I know nobody else want to clean this up, bro, so I went in there, and I mopped it up, and I shouldn't even, like, went to her like that, like, I can't really express how I came at her, because it's like, I'm tired right now, but, like, it was just, it wasn't like I yelled at her or nothing like that, but, like, it was just with a little aggression, it was just like, it's this, like, at the end of the day, this was my job. This is what I signed up for. I already been doing it for over a year now, so you know. A couple days after that, I put in my two weeks. I'm like, bro, I'm I'm not gonna be here for Black Friday, and I didn't do a full two weeks because it said on the paper when your last day will be, and I wrote a week. I got up out of there, and I was just working at Sam's. But uh, yeah, that was my experience working my first job. Like I said, bro, it was cool. At the end of the day, bro, when you when you get a job, you gotta understand everything that come with it, even stuff like that, bro. And they paid solid at the time. They paid like if you're in Houston, minimum wage is seven twenty five. They paid nine dollars an hour at the time. So coming out of high school, I thought that was good money, and I managed my money well at the time, so it it, it was good money. But uh, I think now they pay like they pay fifteen now. So and like I said, minimum wage is seven twenty five. So like I said, bro. You gotta understand whatever you sign up for, you're gonna have to do that and a little bit more. So uh, be prepared. Um, take it for what it is. At the end of the day, it's a job. It's not It's not there for you to like it, you know? If you wanna do something that you would like to do as a job, you know, work your way into that and, uh, you know, grind, bro, get into it, you know? Start, start somewhere. Start now, you know? Like, do, do a little bit, do the, the little that you can. Cause you know, it's a job. It's not meant for you to like it. They pay for your time, basically. You know, your time is paid for. 
I like to do stuff, like certain things, and take my time with it, because I'm like, bro, I'm here for the hour, by the hour, you know? But, yeah, that was my experience, bro. Uh, like I said, I might do little episodes. If y'all like this, comment y'all thoughts below. Comment, uh, you know, places y'all have worked. You know, I should better yet, comment y'all first job. You don't go that far yet. Comment y'all first job. Um, if you ain't had a first job, be comment the place you would like to work. Um, maybe I can give some insight or somebody else who subscribed can give some insight. And, uh, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned and stay blessed. You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! Yeah. Hey, ho. Man amongst boys, I walk with the Lord. Gotta be careful what you say because your tongue is a sword. Why you speaking what I think and ain't no easy.